basically what this stream is gonna be is I have deleted every mod. I have gone back and uninstalled and reinstalled the game. This is a fresh new install. I still have my game saved from before, but this is a fresh new install and uh, I will be installing mods completely from scratch uh, just to kind of uh, give people a general idea of how you want to go about this from the very beginning if you had never downloaded mods before. I was going to just do a video, but I figured doing it live might be helpful. So if anybody has any questions during, you can ask. So let's get rid of that real quick. Okay, so the first thing we need Obviously, first things first is the Toby Beppin X Melon Loader Pack for Supermarket Simulator. This is the number one thing you want to download before you do anything else if you're installing mods. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to go to manual, slow download, and we're going to download it. I even made a new folder for new mods, uh, even though I've already pretty much downloaded uh, most of the mods that are needed. I made a new folder specifically for what I'm doing right now. So, so this one's new supermarket simulator mods, and we're going to go ahead and save this there. And as you can see, it showed up here. This is the new supermarket simulator mods folder. This is the mod that I just downloaded and we're going to go ahead and extract it and we're going to extract it to the exact same place it's in. So you should see the, the folder pop up. Okay. You get another window popping up like here. That's fine, you can just get rid of it, but it is now extracted. So here it is. This is the zip file and this is the actual mod here. So this is the Toby Bepinex and Melon Loader thing. These are all the things that you need here. This is your directory for your game. If you don't know how to get here, you want to open up Steam. Uh, oh, where did my, uh, oh, there we go. <clears throat> you open up Steam and then you can, uh, you can right click the game inside of Steam and then uh, go to explore local files and that'll show you where it is so that way you can get directly to wherever your game directory is downloaded everybody doesn't download their games and put them in the same place so they're not going to always be in the same place but that's a guaranteed way you'll get to it so no matter which way where you downloaded it you'll end up there so you want to go ahead and take everything here this is everything you need and you're just going to drag it over into your directory and now you have the first step done. This is the initial thing you need to do before you can install any mod. So everything you need is here. Uh, plugins, patches, core, config for Bepinex, Melon Loader is not going to have anything in here yet because the Melon Loader files do not populate until you open up the game and I'll show you guys what that means. So uh, we have this open, this folder is open right now. I'm gonna boot up the game, but I'm gonna hide it. So I'm gonna hide the game capture, but I'm gonna boot it up so you guys can see in real time the melon loader folders appear. So after you've done this and you've installed this, you dragged it over properly, go ahead and open up your game. And as the game boots up, you're gonna see the melon loader files appear, or you should at least, oh, there they are. See them appear? You got mods, plugins, user data, user libs. You're not going to see these folders initially, but if you just boot your game up, they will show up. So you can go ahead and close your game out now because you have the folders that you need. Uh, otherwise, like if they, for whatever reason, don't pop up or you just don't want to boot up the game, you can create these files yourself or these folders yourself. Uh, that's completely up to you if that's what you want to do, but the game's going to do it for you. So there's no need to do that. All right, so we're going to go back to our supermarket simulator mods folder where we have our mods here and now we're going to download our first actual mod outside of uh the initial one so what do we want to get let's go to uh let's go back to supermarket simulator main page we're going to go to updated because this is probably where you want to be these are the mods that have been the most recently updated so these are ones you want to look at and uh we're going to do rdc stock manager this is one of your number one kind of go-to mods probably in the top three to five mods you absolutely want to have. Um, so we're going to go ahead and manually download this and then we're going to go to slow download. And once that's done downloading, you're going to save it to your mods folder that you presumably made. As you can see, it popped up here, RDC stock manager. We're going to go ahead and extract it in the very same folder. Oops. And then you should see the folder pop up here. And there it is. RDC stock manager. This is a, if we go down to the description on the page here, because I get this question a lot. A lot of people ask me about mods and they always ask me every single time, where does this mod go? They go to the mod page. They look at the mod, they download it. 
but they never actually look at where it goes. If you go down on the description of every single mod, unless the mod creator for whatever reason did not properly put where you're supposed to put them, then you go here, there is a how to install mod section on every mod you download, every single one. They tell you exactly where it goes. So this one says, first you have to see which mod loader you have installed. You need Bepinex or Melon Loader. So this one in particular, says if you have Bepinex, you can put it in the Bepinex folder, Supermarket Simulator, MLL Loader, and Mods, or else if you have Melon Loader, install it this route. So this one, uh, apparently there's a Melon Loader installer that's completely different than the Toby one. I've never seen that before and I've never used it. So even though this says if you have Bepinex install this route, Supermarket Simulator, you're still gonna put it in the MLL Loader Mods fo folder. So we're gonna go to MLL Loader right here. We're gonna go to Mods and we're gonna take our RDC Stock Manager and we're gonna drag it over. So this is a Melon Loader mod, by the way. And the next one we wanna get, because this one is important also, is Better, better Save Systems. This is another one that I highly recommend that you get. This is another Melon Loader mod, should be. What's up, Pan Guy? Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and save this just like we did all the other ones. And let's go back so we're at the proper folder and better save systems is now there you guys can see it here it just downloaded we're extracting it now oops okay here we go better save systems extract we're going to extract that to the same folder it's already in and that's going to bring you up the folder right here you got better save systems we're going to take that and drag it over into the melon loader with the uh, stock manager one so now we have two mods installed. These are two mods officially installed, okay? So now I'm gonna boot up the game without it being hidden. Are Melon Loader mods still not working for you or were you able to fix it? We're about to find out right now. I just installed two Melon Loader mods. So right now I'm about to boot up the game and we're gonna see if these work because we're I'm figuring this out with you guys live. So we're gonna, we're gonna see if these work. So give me a second, let me boot up the game. <clears throat> We're actually gonna install running in the background too real quick because this is gonna cause me some problems. Cause if the game isn't running in the background or whatever, for some reason OBS has a problem picking it up. So just to not have to deal with this crap, I'm gonna go ahead and install another mod here. Run, run in background mod. All right, so we go to the description here. This mod allows the game to keep running in the background. All right. Uh, this is a melon loader mod. After confirming that you've copied the files correctly, de delete the following melon loader files uh, in the game folder. No, okay, let me see here. If you have already installed melon loader, use the Bepinex melon loader include. Okay, so let's go ahead and download this real quick. Slow download, uh, run in background mod, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and extract this, extract. Okay, so now we have the run in the background mod. This is Bepinex plugins. So this is one, this one's an interesting one because it actually has, in the plugins, there's another folder here. So Bepinex plugins, we're gonna drag this over into this folder. And then there's a folder for the run in background and then there's the DLL. So this should work now. It should be installed uh, as long as you take this folder, drag it into the DL, uh, into the uh, plugins folder. That should work, but let me let me double check here. Because sometimes uh, the people who make these mods, they'll make it a little more complicated than it needs to be. So when are you going to stream a new game? Uh, I don't know yet. Once I figure out how to get this set up and I don't have to worry about my other game getting deleted. Okay, as you can see, now the game can actually see it. And here it is right here. So the load game saves thing is working. So we know that at least this melon loader mod is working now. This stopped working for me before, so this is a good sign that this is actually working. Hello, Alyssa, welcome to the stream. All right, so this is my game. The only mods I have right now is run in the background. We have, um, we got run in the background. We got stock manager and we have better save systems. So we have confirmed that better save systems is working, right? So let's check if stock manager is working. Stock manager is now working. As you can see, we can see the stocks and see what our inventory is both in the storage room. So confirmed, 
these two mods are working. And these are melon loader mods, by the way, which were definitively not working before. So we're gonna do another experiment real quick because one of the mods that I know that wasn't working that kind of destroyed my game a little bit here. Cause as you can see, my pallets are gone. And for some reason, like two of my freezers are gone over here um, or refrigerators. So we're gonna back out of the game with the desktop. All right, so now we're back here. Let's bring back up our mods. Let's go to back to the Nexus and we're going to go back to update it. And now we're gonna look here. We should go ahead and install a texture replacer, but we're not gonna do that yet. Store delivery adds an option on the market app to purchase to place a product on racks. Oh, we already have something like that. Statistics will let you change the price and give for each product the same statistics. Ooh, I think I remember somebody telling me about this mod. Okay, so I, I, I don't want to get distracted too much with the <laughs> with mods I'm not looking for yet. All right, so the palette mod was one of the mods that, that messed up my game. Um, so let's see what happens if I try to download it now. Uh, let's go to manual and we will download the palette mod. What's up, Bougie? Where do you find the mods to download? Just joining. Uh, you go to the Nexus. Um, it is nexusmods.com is where I'm getting these mods from. Trying to fix your game, then later in this stream, you'll try out the new one. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're gonna download the palette mod right now, and then we're going to go ahead and unzip it. All right, here's the palette mod here, extract. And now that we've extracted that, you should see it in your mods folder here. Uh, let's go back to the palettes description, and it says here, that this is a melon loader mod, I believe. Hold on, how to install drag and drop config. No, that's the config file. Where's the, oh, here it is. Drag and drop in the MLL loader, loader folder. So here's the, this is a melon loader mod. So palace display, melon loader. We got mods and user data here. So we're gonna take the mod and we're gonna drag it here. And then user data is usually where the config files go. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna drag that over here into the user data. So that way we can config it if we need to. I'm not gonna mess with that right now, but it's it's where it needs to be. So uh, if my, my prediction is correct, this is not gonna work. So let's find out and see real quick. Let's boot up the game. I don't believe the palette mod is working anymore in this new update and I think it needs to be further updated. This'll, this'll prove that. Oh, I just remember, I never, uh, I never changed the title of my this thing on Twitch. I need to go over on Twitch and change the title or whatever. I don't think it matters that much. Nobody watches me on Twitch. Oh, oh shit. Call me orthopedic shoes because I stand corrected. Wow. Okay, I, I was wrong for whatever re- Oh, damn it, it fixed everything. I was incorrect. The palette mod is working now. Okay, so I think I might have found the solution because the everybody who's having melon loader problems, I think you just needed to do a full reinstall of everything to make sure that everything was up to date so things could start working again because there it is right there. I mean, that's the pallets are here. The last time I installed the pallet mod before I did this full reset, it deleted everything. Like everything in the store was gone. Everything. This entire store was completely bare when the last time I tried to install the pallet mod. But now that I've re like I've gone, I've, I've deleted the game. I erased everything that was there and restarted all of my mods and made sure that everything was up to date. Now it's working properly. And I know some people are very kind of weary about that because it's annoying to have to delete everything you did in your mods and stuff and reinstall them one by one. But I mean, if you want it to work, it is the it is the way to make sure it'll work. Um, it's not a guarantee, you know, obviously I can't guarantee that it'll fix your problem, but it fixed mine. So um, I have the palette mod and it's working fine for me. And that's that's the point I'm trying to make, Jen, is it's it, everybody's situation is not going to be the same uh, because as soon as the as soon as the um, the new update came, my palette mod was working too. The new update came out. I logged in. I did a stream that day for about four hours. My palette mod was working. It, it wasn't broken or anything. I, I logged off, stopped playing for the night and then came back the next morning and it just stopped working out of nowhere. And I didn't do anything. I just booted back up the game and it just stopped working. 
Um, so everybody, like I said, everybody's situation is going to be different and there are going to be some troubleshooting methods that may work for some people and may not work for others. But I do know a good rule of thumb is if things stop working for you, starting back from scratch and doing a fresh install of everything is not the worst thing you can do. So, uh, just a heads up. If you are having problems for the people who aren't having problems, that's awesome. I'm glad that your game is not messing up because it really sucks when you know your hard work gets erased or whatever but uh for the people who are having problems as you can see i was having issues with my melon loader mods and they are now functional so now that we have a little peace of mind with that we can start going in and installing some of these other mods to see what is still working and what's not um let's uh yeah i know there's some new mods over there i checked it out i peeped it before okay so <clears throat> let's go back to the main page here we're gonna go back to updated and now we should probably do the texture replacer because that's a big one texture replacer is one that uh that people tend to have uh, problems with so uh this one's interesting the auto shopping cart this was a relatively new mod it says this mod automatically adds items when your restockers grab the last box uh, of storage that's kind of interesting. I'm going to have to check that one out one day, but this is not that video. I, I don't want to experiment and mess around with new mods today, at least not in this stream, because that I, I'll be here all day. We're going to we're going to stick to what we know for now, and I'll I'll do uh, unknown mods in a, in a separate video and they'll have their own mod showcases. So we're not going to deal with that right now. Uh, but what else was I looking at? Mm, let's see here. Yeah, I think we'll do the um, I think we'll do the texture replacer. Let's just do that one because that's a, like I said, that's a big one. A lot of people have issues with this one. So let's go here. This one's been updated. So let's go to download here. Uh, texture replacer. Okay. All right. So, oh wait, is this the, no, sorry, that wasn't it. All right. So let's go back to manual download. Let's download this one. Let's get back to our mod folder here texture replacer we're gonna save here now we're gonna extract it here's the extraction we're gonna extract it exactly where it downloaded as usual and now we have our texture replacer folder right here we're gonna go ahead and open this up all right so texture replacer is a bepinex if i remember correctly so let's go here so a quick tutorial no we don't need to know all this stuff this is all if you this is all instructions on if you want to like go in and like physically change and make stuff yourself and we're not doing that right now all right so texture replacer is going to go in the bepinex folder plugins and then we're going to drag the texture replacer folder over into here all right and once you do that Technically, Texture Replacer is installed, but just like when we installed the initial mod, you're gonna need to open up the game before the folders that you need populate. So we have the DLL here. We're gonna go ahead and open up our game and the folders that we need for Texture Replacer should pop up. If they don't, don't worry about it because the mod we're gonna download with the textures will have them. So it's not gonna be a big deal, but hello, welcome to the stream. All right, so now that we've booted up the game, let me get rid of that. You can see here, this folder just had the DLL in it. It just had the DLL, but now it has the four folders that you need. And like I said, this happened because I booted up the game. I downloaded the mod, I dragged it over like I was supposed to, and then I booted up the game, and now you have the folders that you need. You got meshes, textures, icons, and names. So we can quit back out of the game because we've populated the folders that we need here. And now we can actually download a texture mod pack. So the one that I usually use is the US texture mods because that's just the one that I use. Uh, there are there are texture mods from all over the place. You can do from all kinds of different countries and different places. A bunch of people have stepped up and made some for their region, places that they live. So you, if you want to check those out, that's fine. Uh, but as I said, I'm going to do the US texture mod, which is right here. We're going to go ahead and hit the manual download for this. As usual, slow download. See, the process is pretty much the same for most mods. Like, 
give or take, you're going to have a few kind of odd situations where things are slightly different, but for the most part, it's generally the same deal. All right. So this mod is downloading once it's finished downloading, and this one's going to take longer. Uh, don't freak out. This mod is going to take longer than other mods to download because it is, there is much more files in here. So if it's not doing anything immediately, don't freak out. Just wait for it to get finished. So that way you can, uh, you can unzip it once it's done. All right, it is finally done. Go ahead and open it up here. And here it is. We're gonna extract it and it's gonna go to the same place that it was, uh, that we downloaded it. There it is, X this stuff out. And here we go, US products. We're gonna open this up, texture replacer here. And then we have our three folders. We have our textures, we have our icons and we have our names. For whatever reason, whenever people download texture mods, they always say the icons are showing up, but not the not the textures or the textures are showing up, but not the icons or whatever. I don't understand how this keeps happening to people. I really genuinely don't get how this is even possible. But if you download a texture mod, it's gonna have the textures, it's gonna have the icons, and it's gonna have the names. All you need to do is drag it over into your texture replacer folder and everything will be there. Textures, here's the icons, here's the names. That's it. And they should all, like as long as they're all here, you should be getting all of them. How people keep getting one or the other is beyond me. I have no idea how that's even possible, but as long as you make sure that you drag all three of these over, everything, make sure that it's over and you check these folders to make sure that the textures are here, then you should have everything. So let's boot up the game and let's see if that's true. So we're booting up the game right now. Let me make sure that it's visible. We've just uh, we've just installed the texture replacer mod and we've just installed a new texture for all the foods and stuff in the game. So once we boot up our file, as you can see, the American textures are here and they're working. And you have the actual textures here. When you go into your computer, you can see that all the icons are as they should be and all the names are correct. Like I said before, I genuinely cannot fathom how people are not are just getting the icons and stuff. Like I don't I, like I don't know how to help you <laughs> because I've had so many, so many people. They like, I followed everything you said. I did exactly what you said. And for some reason, only the icons or whatever. I'm like, you couldn't have. There's no way. It's not possible you did everything that I just did because the, like, <laughs> here it is. So this is the way to do it. Like, this is it. There's no other way. So if you didn't do exactly what I just did and it's not working, then it, it, I don't know. Like uh, maybe your computer's broken. I'm not sure. But as you can see, the mods have changed. All the textures are properly here, and they do align with um, they do align with the uh, with the icons in the computer. So we've got that one done. Uh, unfortunately, the employee training program mod does not work. Um, at least, well, maybe, you know what, maybe, maybe we can try it this time and see, this will be a good experiment. We could actually check it out this time and actually see if the employee training will work. I don't think it will, honestly, uh, but we could definitely check it out and find out. All right. So let's bring back up our, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Nope. That's not it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So I had to reinstall the game from scratch from the same file. I had to redownload a new file. Uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes that's what you have to do. I don't know. Like, I, like I said, guys, I'm relatively new to modding myself. Like I'm not a, an expert at this stuff. Like this is probably the first game I've ever actually gone in and took the time to mod seriously. So this is all new ish to me too, but it's all pretty straightforward. Once you, uh, once you figure out the basis of how things generally tend to go and you can kind of work your way around from there. All right. So let's go back to updated mods and we're going to try, we're going to try to do the employee training program. Um, pretty confident it's not going to work but then again i was comp i was confident that the pallets weren't going to work either so who knows maybe i'll be surprised um tracking indoors vote what the heck where's the uh play training where's the option to download it what the heck that's weird oh maybe maybe he disabled the ability to download it until it got fixed oh here it is here it is currently investigating the freeze bug please be patient for now ah Okay. Okay. I got you. So the, the issue that was happening with the employee training program was that 
people's games were freezing. And they have a message here saying that they're currently investigating that issue. Uh, which is probably why you can't download the mod right now. Okay, cool. Well, we know that it's being fixed, so we're not going to worry about that too much. Um, let's see here. All right, well, I'm, I'm pretty... Hold on. Before, before we do anything else. Uh, Supermarket Simulator mod, Melon Loader. What else was there? Oh, Delivery Organizer. That was one. That was another one that stopped working. Uh, Delivery Organizer has not gotten an update yet in the new or the new one, but I'm going to download the old delivery organizer to see if it still works. Cause I, delivery organizer was working for me, but it stopped working also. So we're actually gonna try out delivery organizer and see, cause this is another pretty popular one that a lot of people tend to like to download and it's very helpful. So let's go ahead and extract this. Now that we've downloaded it, let's go back to our Super Sim Mods folder, Delivery Organizer. There it is, right there. So let's open that up. Delivery Organizer is a Melon Loader mod. So let's go back to our directory, Melon Loader, Mods, Delivery Organizer. All right, that is installed. Let's see if it works. This one's kind of big though, because without this one, I'd have to go find a separate mod to allow me to be able to buy more than 10 items at a time because being restricted to 10 items at a time is freaking terrible and it's stupid and I still don't understand why the developer or the person who made this game f figured that 10 was the maximum. Uh, it's, it's absolutely insane that 10 is like the maximum amount of stuff you can buy at one time. All right, so let's go to our computer. Let's go to market, see if we can buy more than 10 items and we can. That's a good sign, which means delivery organizer should be functional. But let's see if the boxes stack. Uh, let's buy some of these and some of these. And the boxes are stacked. So there you go. Delivery organizer is working. All right. So it seems I have fixed the melon loader problem that was happening. There was a bunch of melon loader mods that just were not functioning anymore. And uh, that does not seem to be the case now. So looks like we fixed it. Uh, I think that's, uh, like I said, just uh, delete the game, uh, delete all the files inside of your directory folder and reinstall the game. So that way, uh, and then just reinstall the uh, the Toby Bepinex Melon Loader uh, initial file and then reinstall the mods and it should work. I mean, here we are. We have a, this is the, all the Melon Loader mods that were not working are now working. <laughs> you can't argue with the results. So uh, Y10 in the Bex game, there are no trucks delivery. It only makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Like if there was like a capacity issue, like if a, the fuck, hold on. Sorry about that. My daughter's being a doofus. Okay. All right, I'm back. Okay, so all right, we've confirmed that that works. I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to probably install uh, some other mods, like uh, some of the other mods that I had before. And then uh, we're going to try out some new mods uh, and some videos coming up soon. We're going to showcase some of the newer mods that have been introduced in the game, see how they work. Uh, but for now, I think I'm satisfied with this. I gave you guys a pretty good tutorial on how to install mods from scratch if for whatever reason you need to start over. Um, so there you go. Hopefully that was helpful. So now we're gonna shift gears here and we are going to try out a new game.